Hey guys, it's half. I am back again. This is going to be part 13. Uh, yeah, part 13 of my makeup collection. We are nearly at the end of it. There are a couple of drawers left after this one <laughs> um, of actual makeup and yeah, so <laughs> we're almost there. Um, there will be a playlist link down below if you want to see the rest of the collections. Uh, this collection this time is all eyeshadow. Um, these are all eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. So let's get into what we have here. So I have these two Revlon Custom Eyes. Um, these are actually pretty old, but you know, powder um, products you can generally have for ages and they're fine. It's cream ones you've got to worry about. Um, so this one is in Metallic Chic. And this one, which has some really nice bright pops of colour, is in Party Pops. So those are those two. I have these two LA Colors Color Spark ones. They kind of have like that ombre kind of look in the eyeshadows, but it really doesn't transfer to the eyes in any kind of way. They just look kind of cool. Uh, so this one is in Effect. And the blue purple toned one, which looks freaking gorgeous. Like, I love this one here. Um, is called Electric, which seems like a really good name for that one. Um, then I have a whole pile of these LA Colors um, ones. I actually have two of this one. It's actually my favorite one. This is Blushing Nudes. So actually have a spare one of these. Um, these cost me like two bucks each, but they're actually pretty good quality eyeshadow. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of, particularly those two shadows there. This one actually broke, which is why it looks like it's been used so much. Um, but they're actually, for, for the price, they're actually pretty good eyeshadows. I actually really do like them. So that one's Blushing Nudes. And then I have this one, which is Poppin' Purple, which, again, you can see some of them have been used quite a bit. And I have this one, which is called Smoky. Just some really good shades in it. I really should use these more. And I have this one, which is Brown Buzz, which is really funny because most of it is actually green. But is still pretty cool. like that a lot. Then I have this one, which is the Heavenly Eye Palette from Boots Number no. 7. I don't know where the hell I got this from. I don't know what was in there, but it's not in there anymore. There's just these five eyeshadows on the end here. Um, but these bit here obviously said the first part of heaven because that says Enly there. So, <laughs> but I don't know where this came from and how I ended up with it. But they look like pretty nice eyeshadows. I should probably use them. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadow. Last time I counted, I had like individual pans. I had um, over 400 individual pans and I've got more since then. Is that horrifying to you? It's horrifying to me. This is the Lacura Stepping Out Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it doesn't have a name other than that. Um, they're all shimmers. I did a uh, Get Ready With Me where I showed this um, in a little bit more detail. I will link that down below. Relatively nice eyeshadows and I managed to get a look out of it so it can't be that bad. Um, more LA Colors palettes. I have quite a few LA Colors palettes because I had, uh, through Oz Sale, they often do sales on them, so I got quite a few. So this one has a lot of very neutral type tones, but they're all super duper shimmery. Gorgeous, but shimmery. This one is the 16 color eye palette in Sweet. Uh, 
and then we have this one which is the 30 color eye palette in back to basics which is actually quite funny because none of these colors are what I would call well there's a few down here <laughs> but like you know this color here is not exactly basic nor is this bright blue um, they're all shimmery there are no mattes in here whatsoever but as you can see, I have actually used quite a few of these shades. They're not terrible eyeshadows by any stretch of the imagination. LA Colors actually does pretty well with their eyeshadows. Um, as long as you're not expecting, you know, brilliant quality and no fallout and stuff, they're, they're fine. Um, this one is from W7, which is an English brand. This is their 10 out of 10 palette. Uh, doesn't have any other name that I can see. Again, they are all shimmery shades, but, you know, decent enough to do a decent look. I was just looking at this and I'm thinking, there are a lot of similarities between these two palettes. Sorry about the glare from the mirrors, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. There are, there are a lot of similarities. The pans are about the same size. There are some very similar colours. Go figure. Completely different company. Very similar look. Um, this is the Perfect 18 colour by Absolute, which is actually Designer Brown's brand. Um, this is in... Oh, sorry. Nikki, this, sorry. It's a Nika K brand. Um... It's in Eclipse, and there are some good basic colours in there, and there are some which are look to be matte. So, like that brown is actually a matte, and that one is a matte, which is good. It's a transition colour. Plus, there's a matte white and. Well, I think is a matte black, which is more of a grey than a black, but uh, nevertheless. But it's got some really pretty colours in it, like, they are a bit powdery, so expect fallout, but, yeah, you can't say that they're not pigmented. <laughs> There's a lot of pigment going on in those shadows. Um, yeah, so that's the Perfect 18 colour one. And then I have two palettes, which are ones that I got at the um, trade show that I went to in 2015, like over 12 months ago now. I've really not used these very much, but... Um, nevertheless. So this one is from Makeup Studio um, and uh, I put this together myself. Yes they are all very very shimmery but they're so gorgeous. I mean seriously. Look at this colour. Just so beautiful. So beautiful. This one is really icy, like an icy blue. I did actually use it in a tutorial. It's, it's stunning. Um, yeah, so I really, really like this little set that I put together myself. And the last one is actually my Inglot palette, which I have got a five pan palette from Inglot. Um, I tried to pick colours that were different from the ones that I'd picked in the other palettes I bought the same day. So I've got one of these ones that's like the mix of three colours. This one is a black with green and gold sparklies in it. A teal, a kind of chartreuse yellowy colour and a very frosty white colour. Again, I have not really used these. Um, I probably should, seeing as how I went to... All the expense of actually buying them. So that is everything that was in that particular drawer, which the drawer doesn't come out, which is why they're just sitting there. 
So that is pretty much it for all of my eyeshadows. The only parts of my collection I have left are pretty much lip products. Um, yeah. So uh, again, I have linked the playlist down below so that you can actually check out the other parts of the collection. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Don't forget to click the bell next to it if you want to get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup collection type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.